going on, CYA families and players? Happy Tuesday. This is Coach Corey, coach of the 05 and 08 girls purple team, here to show you some ball manipulation stuff that you can do at home in a relatively small space. So we're going to start with the ball on the ground. Okay. Using the bottom of our foot, all right, just underneath the toes, just going to rock the ball from side to side, trying to get all the way over from side to side on the ball. Trying to balance, do our right foot for about 30 seconds, and then we'll switch over doing our left foot. If you've got a cone, you're trying to go from either side of the cone, one side all the way to the other. Just getting a feel for how that ball is underneath our feet. Okay? Once we've done that for about 30 seconds on each side, okay, we're gonna move to forward and back, forward and back. So go with the right foot, about 30 seconds, forward and back. Okay, remaining to balance, okay, if we can, pick our head up, scan the field, see what's around us. We switch over, and now we'll go with our left foot, okay? Forward and back, forward and back. This is gonna be very important today as we're working on the L turn and the V turn, pull back L and the pull back V, okay? Now we're gonna start to get the ball moving a little bit. We're gonna go with the pull push. We'll do a pull back and push forward with the inside of our foot. So it's here, we're gonna pull back and push forward. Pull back and push forward. Really looking to get that ball to roll about two to three feet, okay? Pull back, push forward. Pull back, push forward. Pull back, push forward. Again, doing 30 seconds on our right, 30 seconds on our left. Pull back, push forward. Okay, we're switching over. Pull back, push forward, okay? Focus on dragging the ball back good and hard. Okay, pull it back, push it forward. Pull it back, push it forward. Okay, pull it back, push it forward. Notice my arms are out for balance. Okay, arms are out for balance. So pull back, push forward. Pull back, push forward. Okay, after you do that with the inside of the foot, we're looking to do it with our laces. So we're gonna pull back and push forward. Pull back and push forward. Pull back, push forward. Okay, making sure our body is over the ball. Everything is under control. As we get better, Again, see if we can pick our heads up. Okay, about 30 seconds with the right, 30 seconds with the left. Pull back, push forward. Pull back, push forward. Okay. Notice my plant foot, I'm actually hopping forward and back on it. Okay, little bit of a movement. This is gonna be important as we go to do the pull back L. Okay, so plant foot hopping back as I pull back, okay? As I pull the ball back, I'm hopping back a little bit, okay? We're gonna take this and go with a pull back L. So slow motion to start, ball starts out in front of you, a little bit wider than your shoulder, okay? Have it out to the side. You're gonna pull back, reach behind, and push it around to the other side, okay? Makes an L shape. So again, we're pulling it back, knocking it behind our plant foot, over to the other side. So as we go in fast motion, it's here. I'm gonna pull back, touch to the side, stop it with the opposite foot. Pull back, touch to the side, stop it with the other foot. So we're gonna do that. Again, work on it for about 30 seconds to a minute. Okay, wait till you get confident. Again, that's that big pull back, touching it behind with the inside of the foot. Big pull back, touching it behind. Pull back, L. Pull back, L. After you've done that for a couple minutes and you're feeling comfortable, see if we can do it without stopping. So it'll look like this. Here, here, here. Okay? Again, here's that hopping motion that we talked about with our plant foot. As we get better, let's see if we can pick our heads up. We always want to have our heads up so we can see what's going on. We're telling the ball where we want it to go, and we're seeing the field for where the defenders are. Try and do that. If you can get really comfortable, see how fast you can go and how long you can go without making a mistake. Okay, the next one's gonna be the pull back V. Same concept. Okay, we're gonna pull the ball back, but this time we're gonna look to make a V. So it'll look like this. I reach across my body, okay? I'm gonna pull back and make a V around the cone. Stop it with the opposite foot, okay? I pull back, touch it forward, stop it with the opposite foot. So back, up, switch. Back, up, switch, okay? Make sure that you're balanced right, and are hopping backwards with that plant foot. That gets our body in position 
to make the next touch. So we're here, there. Look at my back foot, how I hop back to create space. Hop back, create space. As we get better, we go a little bit faster. Okay. Again, once you get comfortable, try and pick your head up. See if you can scan the field. Maybe I'm looking this way to a player I'm gonna pass to, and this movement here gets the defender to think I'm gonna pass there. So it's here and the other side, here and the other side. Okay, step into it hard, pull back, and go the opposite direction. Back, forward, back, forward, back, forward. That's the pull back V. We're making a V shape, okay? These are all great moves that you can use to change directions quickly to get into space and around defenders. Here's a good simple exercise you can do to work on the pullback L and the pullback V in a little more of a game-like situation. So you're starting off the dribble and we're gonna change our direction quickly to go out to the other side. Okay, so we'll start with the pullback L, okay? I'm gonna attack with my right foot, okay, to the outside of the cone. So I'm here, to the outside of the cone, stop, pull back, L, take it away with the opposite foot. Stop, pull back, L, take it away with the opposite foot. Pull back, L, take it away with the opposite foot. Do the same thing, coming back. Start with the left, tack to the outside, here. Tack to the outside, here. Tack to the outside, here. Okay. Do that four or five times. Again, try and go quicker. The cones are only spaced about a yard apart, but we can always make it a little bit longer if we want to develop more speed, okay? Now we're gonna do the pullback V. I'm gonna attack with my right foot to the outside of the cone again. But once it gets to the outside of the cone, I'm going to use my left foot because I want to move to my left. So if I'm moving to my left, I'm going to use my left. When I'm moving to my right, I'll use my right to do the pull. So I'm here, okay, reach across, pull back V. Reach across, pull back V. Reach across, pull back V. Okay, again, same thing on the way back. I'm going to approach with my left, pull back V with my right, pull back V with my left, pull back V with my right. Okay. Notice, as I'm going to do the pullback, I'm stepping into it like I'm shooting. Again, that makes the defender think I might be playing a pass or knocking a long ball to my teammate. So as I'm coming here, I'm in, step hard, okay? Get the arms in motion, pull back beat. Here, step hard, pull back beat. Step hard, pull back beat. These are all great exercises to work on your ball manipulation. Now get out there and start playing.